Well, good morning, everyone. And good morning. I'm delighted to be here to share this morning with you. Welcome to the Lafayette Durfee House here on Cherry Street in Fall River. It is one of the most exciting places, I think, in Fall River. There's so much history here. And you're going to discover some of that history after our story time. David Jennings, the curator here, is going to take you on a little tour. He's going to tell you all about all the special aspects of this house and its history. And you're going to learn a lot about Fall River today. But to kick things off, I've got some stories to share with you. You see, I'm from the Fall River Public Library. And one of the things I get to do at the library is I get to share stories. Do you guys like listening to stories? Do you? Good, because I love telling them. And I brought some of my favorite ones to share with you today. And one of my favorite stories in the whole library is, is a story called Owl Babies. I don't know about you, but I think owls have to be my favorite bird. And this particular story is about three owls. And let me introduce you to them. Sarah, this is the big sister. And the middle-sized one is Percy. That's the middle-sized brother. And this, the baby owl, is named Bill. And this is their story. They wake up one night to discover that their owl mother is gone. <gasps> oh my goodness. We'll see what happens in Owl Babies by Martin Waddell. There's the forest where they live. Once there were three owl babies, Sarah, Percy, and Bill. They lived in the hole of a trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and feathers in it. It was their home. What a nice home. Well, one night, they woke up and their owl mother was gone. She was gone. I told you. Where's mommy? said Sarah. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> said Percy. I want my mommy, <laughs> cried Bill. Poor Bill. The baby owls thought. You see, owl babies, they think a lot. I think, I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. Ooh, to get us some food, <laughs> said Percy. I want my mommy, <laughs> cried Bill. Poor Bill. But their owl mother didn't come back. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and they waited and waited and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back. She'll be back, said Sarah. Oh, back soon, I hope, <laughs> said Percy. I want my mommy, <laughs> cried Bill. Oh, poor Bill. It was dark in the woods, and they had to be brave because things moved all around them. She'll bring us some mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. Oh, I suppose so, <laughs> said Percy. I want my mommy, cried Bill. Oh, poor Bill. And look, can you see them way up there all by themselves? Can you see them? No wonder they're frightened. They sat and they thought. You see, owl babies, they think a lot. I think, 
I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did. All three owl babies, they sat together. <gasps> oh, oh, suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Oh, uh, 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 maybe, maybe a fox got her, said Percy. <laughs> I want my mommy, cried Bill. Oh, poor Bill. And then the baby owls closed their eyes and they wished. They wished that their owl mother would come back. Can you close your eyes and wish with them? Wish that they're going to come back. Your best wish. Okay, now open them. And then she did. She did come back. Soft and silent, she swooped down through the trees to Sarah, Percy, and Bill. Mommy! 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 They all cried, and they flapped their wings, and they danced, and they bounced up and down on their branch. Do you think they're happy to see Mama? Yeah. I think so. What's all this fuss? That mother owl asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. You see, owl babies? They think a lot. I knew it. I knew you'd come back, said Sarah. Oh, and I knew it too, said Percy. <laughs> I love my mommy, <laughs> cried Bill. And that's the end of Owl Baby. Now, who do you think missed their mommy most of all? Who do you think? Sarah? Percy? Bill? Bill. Bill. I think so too. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, my next story is also a pretty, pretty silly story. I'm going to take off my hat because it's getting hot. And this story is about, let me see, oh, I know which one I'm going to, oh, wait, where is it? Okay, this story is about the longest dog in the world, <laughs> and he is, he is the longest dog in the world, okay? I used to have a dachshund, which is, um, let me see, I think I brought a dachshund with me. Is he in there? Yes. My dachshund, my hot dog. See? He's a hot dog. I'll take the bun off him. But I used to have one of these dogs, a dachshund. They're pretty long. And this dog is even longer. Look at her. Woo! I am the longest dog. Okay, and you'll get to meet her now. I am the longest dog by Avery Monson. My name is Lucy. I am the longest dog. This is where I start. Right there at her tail. I keep going too. I'm telling you, I am very, very long. Some people say that I am too long, but I don't listen to that nonsense. I'm a long doggy, and that's just fine by me. And this lady saying, Oh, I'm definitely telling Sandra about this. <laughs> Here are some things that I am longer than. A street limo. That's pretty long. Look how long he is. He's got to be. A big blue whale. Very long, but he's longer than the whale. Look at that. A stretch limo with the big blue whale so he can drive around and go to parties and stuff. I don't know if this exists, but it would be pretty super long, I think. And still, 
I'm longer than y'all. But being a long dog isn't always easy. I don't fit in the doghouse. Look at that. I can't go on rides in the car. He doesn't fit. And I'm not great at sitting on laps. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this dog might be too long, he says. No way, Buster. I am long, but I am not too long. This is the only body I've got, and I think it's awesome. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. This has gone on long enough. On the next page, you'll finally see my head. Ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's see if we see your head. Gotcha! <laughs> oh man, classic long dog joke. You say you're gonna show your face and then bam! The body just keeps going. No end in sight, baby. He fooled us. And who knows where it stops? Maybe it never stops. Maybe that long dog bod goes over tall mountains and down through deep valleys through hot, dry deserts and cold, wet oceans. <gasps> Maybe it reaches out past the moon and the stars, past everything that anyone has ever dreamed of. Maybe it goes on forever and even more after that. Do you think it can go on forever? Maybe. Let's see. Gotcha again! This is where I stop. There's Lucy. She's pretty cute. Oh, look, another dog. Nice to meet you, dog. I said, nice to meet you, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, dog. She's not paying attention. <laughs> oh, whoops, hey, hey, that's just me. I told you, I am an extremely long dog. And look at that. He wraps right around the earth. That's one long dog, huh? And that's, I am the longest dog. That's a silly story. Okay. Now, are you guys ready for the grossest book I have in the library? Are you guys ready for the grossest book? Oh, this is disgusting. I should, I should hold, wear gloves when I wear, oh, tell the story. This is the story of the icky, sticky monster. And it's pretty gross. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Did you have breakfast yet? Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see. The icky, sticky monster by Joe Lodge. I can tell we're in trouble already, huh? <laughs> Icky, sticky monster is playing hide and seek. If you're brave enough, you can take a peek. Icky, sticky monster is being very naughty. That stinky little monster is hiding in the potty. Oh, I told you this was gross. Icky Sticky Monster has an itchy nose. He pokes his grubby finger in and round and round it goes. Icky Sticky Monster pulls out some snotty goo. And because he's feeling very kind, he's giving some to you. Would you like some? Would you like some? No, you sure? He's got plenty there. Icky, sticky monster has a rumbly, grumbly belly. He's looking for some lunch to eat, something nice and smelly. Icky, sticky monster finds the perfect lunch 
a trash can full of gloopy treats and moldy things to munch. And look, he's eating dirty old socks. He's eating fish bones. He's eating old shoes. He's eating banana peels. Does that sound good? No. Not banana peels. Yeah, I pass on the peels too. <laughs> Icky, sticky monster sits down for a rest. He's feeling very thirsty and he knows what he likes best. Icky, sticky monster guzzles down a jug of icky, sticky cabbage juice with extra chunks of bugs. <laughs> Would you like a sip? No. no? Icky, sticky monster is sometimes very shy, but it's getting close to bedtime, so he'll, he'll have to say goodbye. Oh, shh, shh. What's that? What's that, Icky, sticky? Oh, he wants to tell you this. Icky, sticky monster is ready for a kiss. <laughs> Anyone want to kiss him goodnight? No. no. Sorry, Icky Sticky, you're just too gross. <laughs> and that's the Icky Sticky Monster, everybody. <laughs> Let me see, I think I have one other cute story over here. Let me see. Okay. You want to help me out with a story? Yeah. You do? You can, you, no, you don't want to help me out. Because I'm going to need your help for this next story. It's called Don't. Push the button, okay? We cannot push the button. Whatever we do, we cannot press the red button. Just remember that, okay? Everybody's got that? Yeah. Okay, we can begin. Don't Press the Button by Bill Cotter. Hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only one rule, and that's don't Push the button. You got that? No. Nobody can push the button. Okay, very good. We have that firmly established. Seriously, don't even think about it. Don't push the button. Okay, no one's gonna push it, right? I don't know, he's just saying don't push it. We better listen. It does look pretty nice though. Maybe. Maybe you should give the button one push. No. Uh-oh. Should we push it? No. No? Do you want to push the button? No. Give it one push. Go ahead. Give it one push. Let's see. I don't want to push it. You going to push it? Do you want to push the button? There we go. Here we go. Okay, let's see what you did. Let's see. Oh! Oh, no! I'm yellow! Oh my goodness, look what you did, you turned them yellow. Oh my goodness, push it again. Uh-oh, push it again. Here we go, push it. Okay, let's see what happens, ready? Oh no! Now I'm yellow and I've got polka dots. Oh, oh, oh. push it twice. Can you come on up and push it two times? Wanna push the button two times? See what happens. Okay, let's see what you did now. Oh, now there's two of me. Oh, push it a bunch of times. Can you push the button a bunch of times? Whole bunch of times. Keep pushing. Hopefully it's okay now. Let's see what happened. Let's see if it's back to normal. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a whole bunch of Larrys now. All different colors. Oh, what did you do? Oh, um, now, uh, let's, let's shake the book to get rid of all the extra Larrys. Can you come on up and shake the book? Shake it really good. Okay, hope, hopefully that did it. Let's see. Ready? <gasps> Almost! Uh, let's shake it a little bit more. Can you shake it a little bit more? Come on up and shake the book. There we go. Shake it really good. Okay, hopefully that took care of things. Let's see. Ready? Oh, phew! 
Okay, there we go. Now it says here to scratch Larry's tummy to get him back to normal. Okay, who wants to scratch Larry's tummy to get him back to normal? You want to do it? <laughs> Come on up, scratch his tummy. Okay. <laughs> oh, that, that tickles. Oh, okay, much better. Now, let's not push the button again. <laughs> but that was kind of fun. <laughs> Maybe just a couple more pushes. No. no, you're right, no. He's back to normal, we're gonna keep things that way. <laughs> and we got one more story, then we're gonna do a little raffle. How's that sound? Okay, we gotta, we gotta do a short little story. Okay, this one's called Dear Zoo. Has anybody been to the zoo lately? Yeah, you've been to the zoo? I love going to the zoo. I went to the zoo. You went to the zoo too? Okay. You know something? I'd love to have a zoo animal as a pet. Would you like to have a zoo animal as a pet? No. No? You don't think they'd make good pets? No. No? Oh. Not a lion. Not a lion. No, you know what? I'm going to write a letter to the zoo. I want a pet. This is called Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. Okay, I wrote a letter to the zoo for them to send me a pet. They sent me, ooh, what's in there? A yellow box. It says very heavy. What do you think's in there? Should I peek? An elephant? That's a good guess. Let's look. They sent me an elephant. But he was too big. He couldn't fit in my house. So... I had to send him back. I wrote another letter to the zoo and they sent me a, a green box. It says fragile. What kind of animal do you think? A lion. A lion? Let's see. Shall we open it up? They sent me a giraffe. But he couldn't even fit through the door. So I had to send him back. That's right, it would go through the ceiling. So I wrote another letter to the zoo and they sent me a, what do you think that is? They sent me, it says danger, a lion. <laughs> he was too ferocious. So I had to send him back. back. I wrote another letter to the zoo and they sent me a... A camel. A camel? You think so? Yeah, a camel. A camel? You think it's a camel too? Let's see. A camel! You're right! But he was too grumpy. So, I had to send him back. back. I wrote another letter to the zoo and they sent me a basket. What do you think's inside? I don't know. Any ideas? No. No? A mouse. A mouse? A turtle? Let me see. Can I take a peek? I'm going to take a peek. Let me see. <gasps> you won't believe this. I'm, I'm going to take another peek just to make sure. <laughs> they sent me a snake. But he was too scary, so I had to send him back. I wrote another letter to the zoo, and they sent a me a monkey? monkey. A monkey! But the monkey was too naughty, so what would we do with him? We had to send him back. They sent me a little pink box next. What was inside? Any ideas? Any ideas? It's small. A cheetah? A bunny? Any ideas? A cow? Let's check and see. A frog! But he was too jumpy. So 
I had to send him back. Oh, I decided to write one more letter to the zoo. Can you all write a letter with me? Take your pencils. Can you please send me just the right pet? And so, a cat. a cat. That's very good. So they thought very hard, and then they sent me a little box. What could be inside? And inside there was, are you ready? A puppy. And he was just the right pet for me. It certainly took a long time to get the right pet, huh? But I think it's going to be a perfect match. There we go. And I hope you enjoyed those stories. And if you did enjoy those stories, we have those stories and more at the Fall River Public Library. We have more stories than you can imagine. And on every Tuesday throughout the summer uh, at 11 o'clock, Underneath the tent on our side lawn, we have a story time. Every Tuesday morning, you'll hear wonderful stories like that. We'll do activities. We have crafts to do on that same morning. It's a fun morning if you're looking for something exciting to do. So join us on Tuesday mornings at 11 o'clock all summer long at the Fall River Public Library.